Hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, and today I've had a rather lucky spin on the uh, lucky wheel, you know, and I've gone and won myself a Dinka Jester Classic. Okay, now, if you're not lucky enough to have won one, you can always purchase one from uh, the legendary motorsport website, you know, uh, retailing for a price of uh, $790,000, as you can see there, but on this occasion, I shan't need to uh, send it to Hillcrest as a... Uh, it's already been delivered to my penthouse garage, you know, and as you can see, there we go, that's where the, uh, where the Dinka jest up was, you know, and now as you can see, it has disappeared. Uh, and that's an indication that I, like I say, my, uh, I've been fortuitous enough to have, uh, secured uh, that vehicle on the, uh, on the lucky wheel there, although unfortunately, uh, um, I, uh, I had absolutely no room to record at the time, you know, and so I uh, neglected to record that particular spin of the wheel, and that really is a rotten shame, as I'm sure you'll agree. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on downstairs to my uh, penthouse garage, you know, that's the Itali GTO, a rather fantastic car, that's the Neo over there, another very fine car indeed, and we've got uh, the uh, the Innesis and the Obey over there, and uh, the SADRR. Uh, just there, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, okie dokie, a uh, coil cyclone in the corner there. But ladies and gentlemen, this is what we look, which is what we're here to look at. It's the uh, the Dinka Jester Classic, ladies and gentlemen, uh, based on the Toyota Supra. One would assume, you know. Uh, and what do we think of it? Okay, it didn't walk around. It looks so. We'll give it a few goes around. Well, it looks pretty much like the Supra, doesn't it? So there we go. Okay, jolly good then, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's uh, let's take it on over to uh, to the maze bank offices, and we'll go in. Uh, We'll go and get this vehicle modified and see what we think. Okay, now straight out the box, what we think is quite nice, ladies and gentlemen. It's quite nippy, you know, very tight handling, and it's hmm, quite early in the evening, isn't it? Uh, yes, I don't. Uh, yes, I don't quite know what to do, you know. Right, maybe head on over to just take a slow drive down here. I think for no real reason, you know. Before we go back to, damn it, there's no one here. Right, okay, never mind that. Okay, well, well, I will, like I said, we'll head on to uh, the maze bank offices, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I will go get this car upgraded now. Like I say on the street, how does it feel? It feels quite nice. I mean, it's not got incredible top speed, you know, but its handling's quite nice. Like I say, it feels quite tight, you know, quite responsive. Uh, okay, and like I say, well, I think we're just gonna uh, take a drive on down, like I say, and have a look at uh, taking get, getting it upgraded and whatnot. Okay, getting closer to midnight, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting even closer to midnight. Right, okay, right. Oh, look, red lights. Well, you know, I wouldn't want to break the rules, so I'll just stop, uh, just park here, you know, ladies and gentlemen, wait for it to go green, you know, not in any rush this evening. Oh, oh, there we go, green light. Well, I suppose I'd better drive. Okay, it's got me getting closer to midnight now, one would have thought, you know. Ah, well, hello. Who is this charming young lady? Well, hello, my darling. Would you like to come and have a look at my, uh, at my dinker? Okie gokey, well yes, hop inside my darling, yes, we'll go and take a little drive around, you know, see if, uh, see if you like my vehicle, or perhaps we could uh, pull up somewhere and have a conversation or something like that. Okie gokey, ladies and well here we go, we're going to take one down here, coming uh, past uh, the Maze Bank offices, and I think we'll just go a little bit further, and oh, another charming young lady there, may have to speak to her at some point. Right, okie gokey, yes, no point at uh, uh, hanging around here, ladies and gentlemen, we'll just uh, cut out, and we'll come back in a few moments, time, you know. Okie gokey, yes. Yes, jolly good. I, I know this young lady here. I just, uh, I just, uh, I owed her some money, you know. I've just paid her. And uh, now, uh, now I'm going to, uh, oh, she actually shut my door. How about that? Well, thank you very much, charming young lady that you are. You know, never had a, yes, never had a lady uh, shut the door before. Okie dokie, you know, your whores always will leave the door open. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, here we go. We're, uh, we're taking it back to the, uh, the maze bank offices, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take it on inside my office garage three, you know. We're going to take it on to the customer auto shopping have it done there okie dokie and here we go like i say we're heading on inside now ladies and gentlemen and of course as always drawing uh, this particular stage of this uh video ladies and gentlemen we'll be uh we'll be going through this at double speed now the whole purpose of this course like i say is just to give you uh, an indication ladies and gentlemen of the uh the different stylistic elements that can be affected to your vehicle although as you can see currently i'm just going through the more functional aspects okay well here we are now on the spinners and such force now like i say ladies and gentlemen this is the dinker jester classic you know based uh, presumably on the uh on the Toyota Supra, like from the uh, from the, uh, the the 90s, I suppose, or early 2000s, on the time, I suppose it's the 90s, isn't it? You know, and it really was a very fine car. You know, uh, around those times, uh, around that time, there were some very interesting street cars being released to Toyota Supra, and uh, 
the uh, the the, uh, the with the, what with the Subaru Impreza, you know, that was another sort of counterpart at the time, another you know, rival, you know, and of course uh, the Nissan Skyline, the GTR, you know, uh, not the GTR, I should say, just the Nissan Skyline, uh, the, the old-fashioned GTR, uh, and yes, yeah, so like I say, there really were some very fantastic cars around that, that, that during that era. They were really very fast, you know. And like I say, this uh, this particular vehicle is based on the Toyota Supra, you know. Uh, like I said, the Dinka Jester Classic. Now, I wouldn't necessarily have gone and brought this vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. I did, uh, in all honesty, have my eye on the uh, the Dinka Jester, you know, early on in my gaming career when it was sat down there uh, on the uh, Southern San Andreas Super Auto side. It's rather a uh, cheap vehicle, and I was thinking, oh, I get myself one of those, you know, that must be quite nippy. Uh, and then I actually uh, started to earn some serious money, and I uh, brought a whole lot of garotes instead, and. Uh, Never, never thought about the Dinka Jester ever again. You know, I see it occasionally there in the in the thing, and I think, no, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, but now I've gone up one one, haven't I? The Dinka Jester Classic, and that sort of uh, is now pushing me in the direction of maybe getting a Dinka Jester collection together. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. Okay, Koki. Well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a number of different things. We've got sort of different libraries. Okay, how about that, ladies and gentlemen? So the Dinka Jester Classic has a has some libraries. I'm sure you'll agree. Some of those already were anyway, quite nice, you know. Okay, uh, not particularly push with libraries as a general rule you know but i think i might go for uh, one of the more subtle ones okay there we go that's the white one you couldn't see before you know okay koki and there we go right so we'll go through some of the colors and give you an idea or i think presume we were going to go through okay there we go we're going back onto the libraries okay the chest are down the side and there we go and i think that's the one i'm going to go for yes yeah, so okay koki okay then ladies and gentlemen let's take it out onto the street like i say we didn't do a standard lap coming down because uh I won the vehicle at the casino, and that's where I had it parked. So, uh, yes, this will be the first standard lap, really, ladies and gentlemen. It's a fully upgraded vehicle. We'll get to see how it is, and you can see. Yeah, it's really rather nice around the corner there. Okay, acceleration, very good. Top speed, uh, reasonable, I suppose. Handling, quite interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Back wants to come, ar uh, back wants to come around on you there, but uh, it's quite tight still, you know. Not a, not a bad car, you know, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't feel that bad anyway, you know. Okay, go, go. I mean, it is a little bit weird. Don't get me wrong. Wrong. It's not the, not not the tightest handling vehicle ever uh, that I've driven. You know, so it won't compare to anything like the Wagner or all that sort of thing. Completely different price bracket, of course. Uh, but yes, quite a, quite a nice vehicle. And Okie Kogi sliding off the road. You can see, ladies and gentlemen, very responsive, very twitchy there. Okay, well, very good, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with this vehicle. You know, I did always like it. Uh, well, I did like the Super, actually, to be quite frank with you. But uh, yes, there we go. Right, uh, yes, and not a bad vehicle to be quite frank with you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but uh, we're going to take it on up to the, tire, the test track now and put it up against the uh, the LG Retro. Now this effectively, ladies and gentlemen, is the Skyline. And uh, there's no point in putting uh, the Dinka Chester Classic up against such cars as the Wagner or the Zentorno, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it will, of course, be absolutely destroyed. So we're going to put it up against some of its uh, its sort of uh, the counterparts from its uh, its contemporaries, contemporary counterparts, you know. Uh, and uh, this is one of them. This is the Nissan Skyline, ladies and gentlemen, or the uh, the uh, An uh, the Anis LG Retro. And as you can see, uh, yes, the uh, Dinka Jester Classic doesn't stand a chance of uh, keeping up with it, even with Mr. Raccoon at the wheel there. I should point out that is Mr. Raccoon, that's his name, the Bromby, that's his channel. If you uh, go and have a look for that on YouTube, you'll find him over there. Right, okay, right, and here we go. Now, this is another, this is the uh, one of the Karens, ladies and gentlemen. Should know what it's called, it's my vehicle, can't remember. Okie dokie, but either way, this is this is the uh, the Karen Sultan, I do believe it is, and this is largely based, one would assume, on the, uh, on the Subaru Impreza. So like I say, another sort of contemporary counterpart for the uh, uh, for the Supra there. Uh, so yes, this is the Subaru Impreza versus the Toyota Supra. That's what I'm essentially trying to say here. And uh, yes, this is the result that we're getting. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the Dinka Jester Classic is losing once again. And that really is a rotten shame, you know. Okay, Koki, so is there anything that it can beat? This is uh, the Porsche 911. Now, I don't entirely certain, ladies and gentlemen, if this is from the same era. This, to me, this looks more like a 1980s Porsche. Uh, but I couldn't be certain. Anyway, here we go. They've got a sports car up against the Toyota Supra. They've got the 911 up against the Supra. Now, of course, as, uh, in the in the real world, one would assume that the uh, the 911, uh, certainly a uh, uh, sort of uh, one that was a sort of contemporary counterpart, would beat it. Whether this old retro version would, uh, not entirely certain, to be quite frank with you. Okay, Koki. 
bogey and there we go okay and there we go so the Dinka Jester held it all the way around there and then it was pipped at the post by the uh, by the Comet there so that is the uh, I should point out that is the uh, that is the uh, the Vista Comet retro I don't know what I might be there we go oh okay, yes Mr. Raccoon there hello Mr. Raccoon okay now we're gonna switch over vehicles ladies and gentlemen give it another go ah uh, why do we go ahead and do that there's a hobble inside of so look at raccoon, I do appreciate that. Okay, so we're gonna put uh, Mr. Mr. Raccoon now into the uh, into the comet there, uh, the comet, uh, the, and we're gonna put me into the Dinka Jester, and we're gonna see now uh, what happens here. Okey dokey. Right, okay, getting ahead of him there, aren't I? Okay, so there we go. It's got a slightly, uh, slightly sort of better top speed, it would seem. Uh, acceleration didn't really have it. Okay, came off the track there slightly, didn't I? And there we go. Okay, Koki, ladies and gentlemen. So, unfortunately, it does seem there's not a great deal out there that this Dinka Jester Classic can, uh, can beat, really. You know, $800,000 if you're going to buy it. And uh, it looks like you're going to be coming in last of pretty much everything out there. Okay, so would I recommend it? Well, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a bad car, as long as you understand it's not going to be uh, winning any races. I quite like it, to be quite frank with you, you know? Not opposed to the vehicle whatsoever, even though it's uh, sort of uh, lacking around the track. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you liked this video. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.